As Ties woke up on Tuesday and headed out to school and to work, most were just finding out that they now live under martial law. In order to keep peace and order efficiently and to bring peace back to the people of every group quickly, I hereby exercise the right under Articles 2 and 4 of the Martial Law Act 1914 to invoke martial law nationwide. Several more announcements by the army were made as the day unfolded, giving military commanders more power. Soldiers took over the government-run organization that usually maintains peace and security. When the country is safe and peaceful, then nobody will want to keep martial law for too long. I hope all parties and factions find a political solution soon. The next step is to try to bring rival parties to talk in peace. There can't be talks if there's no peace, if there are still movements, provocation and instigation towards violence. Ten satellite and cable television channels with political ties were told to stop broadcasting. The pro-government or redshirt-backed DNN was one of them. When I saw the soldiers walking in, as I am a redshirt member and we are a station that has fought for democracy, we wanted to disobey them. But this is the law that's inevitable. I think we have to play by the rules and be cautious. The anti-government protest leader Sutep Tawaksaban announced that his followers, the so-called yellow shirts, will continue with their protests peacefully. The army's presence on the streets of Bangkok is light and most people are going about their normal lives. But at this point, no one really knows just how long they're going to have to stay in the streets or if more troops will have to be called in. The army has insisted that this is not a coup, but a move to prevent more violence, even civil war. Uh, not quite a coup yet because we have a caretaker government. As long as the caretaker government is in office and remains there, uh, then it is not a military coup. Uh, but the authority will shift uh, to the military. Uh, now we have no longer the capo, the, the administrative center. Uh, so it depends now going forward in the coming days what kind of resolution the army has in mind. And the army commander is keeping his options open, simply saying martial law will remain in place for as long as it takes. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.